Par le pouvoir du crâne ancestral <rire> La force toute puissante It's the pain that creates the pride. Let's develop onto this concept. Meaning, you gotta struggle. And if you make it, it's you better start, than yeah. if you don't struggle. Well, it's like everything, I guess, in life. You can take this from writing, for experience of yourself in real life, or... I mean, harder it is, more happy you're going to be at the end because uh, you know how hard it is. It's like for me, for instance, for racing, when I was racing, you know, you know how hard it is to win a World Cup, you know, everyone is training. It's just like, okay, you need to get all this winter done, do those kilometers on the road bike, doing te technical, doesn't matter if you rain, because you know everyone else is around the world. So people are training in a condition when it's, uh, when it's, uh, dry or whatever it is, you know, but uh, if it's raining or it's cold here, you need to train anyway. Then, uh, yeah, this make the victory when it happened a lot better because you know how hard it is. You're not competing with two or three guys, you're competing at, against 150 and they're all top of the league. Then, uh, yeah, it just make the things a lot better, but the same in school, like we learn from school too, you know, like if you work at home and you work hard, the degrees are going to be... I mean, in the beginning it's all easy and stuff, but when you start to go to do a career and something, it's going to be harder, it's going to be as well. A lot of stuff in life is going to, uh, to be a little bit more... Um, you're going to grow, you're going to be 18, you want to go out. Uh, that's why you need to make the, the, um, the choice of like, do I go party every day or do I stay tonight home and I learn to get my exam at the end of the day? Or do I do just party and I know at the end of the year I'm not going to have my exam? I mean, it's like choice are coming and it's, that's why it's, it's start to be hard. And uh, this is for real life. Racing is the same, you know. Like uh, when, it, when I was young, things was easy as well because, you know, I was not really into partying yet because I was underage. And after a lot of things came to the plate, it's like uh, you're growing. You have access to parties, you have access to, I mean, ladies as well, just uh, influence you. Uh, friends, friends who have a normal life, you have a different life. I mean, they work or they go to school, but you have to go training. You want to you wanna have time with them, but you, you know you have to go to the gym, you have to go and ride your bike. I mean, it's all about decision. And uh, it's all about what you want in life, I guess that's what it is. And the more you work and, you know, when you finally get it, you're like, okay, that was hard, but it was worth it. <laughs> and that's what it all comes to the plate. It's not because you're standing on the top of the podium, you're like, yeah, I win, I win. No, it's not this. It's like, you know how hard it was, then it makes the victory a lot better for you. Mm. If it was that easy, it's okay. You will win, done, job done, okay. It's like, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's more like uh, all the work you put it together before and when it pay off, because it don't pay off all the time because it was too easy, you know? Since so many times I work so hard on something and I crash or I break something on the bike and I cannot finish and I know that day I was probably unbeatable. Yeah. That's a hard thing. But let's put the record straight because people think, okay, that's CG, he's so talented, uh, he doesn't need to train, he doesn't do... Yeah. <coughs> well, talent, you gotta work on your talent and your life, yeah. right? Yeah, the talent, if you, don't, if you don't train and if you don't keep that, that thing you have special, you will lose it. Yeah. Because you get older, you lose skills and it's normal. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes you have some young talent who come and they're not more talented, but they are more hungry than you are. Than yeah. Obviously, you lose the the hunger. Like uh, you're not hungry anymore as much as those guys are. Then you work on that. Then you go training more. You work on some skills who are not the best anymore. And I know for me it was easy because <laughs> I always just sit at home, 
hang out with my friends, play PlayStation, wait the weekend to party and do some training in the meantime and go riding my bike. That was my lifestyle. That was when you just had the talent doing it for That's you. That's when I had the talent. Then until, you quit. Until 18, 19 years then old. You and quit, after. You quit PlayStation. After I quit PlayStation, <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's stop this. Let's start to work a little bit. And I started to do a little bit more road bike and I was feeling that I was feeling better on the bike. I kept partying, then what I did to compensate the partying, I trained harder during the week to make sure I had Friday and Saturday <laughs> flat out to go with my friends. Because I didn't want to quit everything because I'm really extreme on my things. Every time I want to do something, if I go party, I just don't go for one drink. Yeah. I go for the whole bar. Yeah, but same on your road bike. You don't just do one climb. You do no. all the climbs, like you do more than the, exactly. the Tour de France in Andorra. When I, go, when I go for a climb or training, I just don't go for an hour. I just go and smash myself. Because I'm really extreme in my position and my, uh, what I do. The same, if I do something in life, I go 100%. If not, I don't do it. Because I just don't want to do it halfway. Then, uh, then uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's why now, you know, when you're young, you win races, you think you deserve it. But no, it's because you had the talent at the time, it was your day, you, it was cool, you win, it's awesome. And after, you get older, you work a lot harder, like I say, and that's why it makes the pride. And that's why you get it, because you know how hard you work to get that done. And that makes a lot more sense for you, because you grow, you get older, you know more and you appreciate things a lot more because when you're young you, you don't appreciate so much because you know when you're young you have everything you know mm -hmm. you're with your parents you don't have to really work for something you know you're staying home with your parents you know food is going to be on the table you just hang out but when you start to live alone you need to you need to make your own living no one is going to buy your grocery sure. no one is going to cook for you and it doesn't matter if you train or not. Mm -hmm. You're going to go home, you still have to cook for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and next day you still have to go training or go to school and come back and go training. Sure. Yeah, that's what you learn and you're a lot more thankful on what you have. And you're a lot more thankful when you have a good result, when you know how hard you've been working. Because you you, in one point I was going to school. You don't want to quit school. Going home, finishing school at 5 or 6, going for an hour or two hours until the sun is down on the road bike. Waiting for the weekend to do some downhill runs. And uh, after those downhill runs, I was like, ah, oh, still not enough to be able to compete at the top level. Then I'm like, Cedric, you need, to, you need to have more down, more down, more down. You need to work harder. You need to do something. Then I was like, okay. Then I was going out on the Saturday and Sunday morning. I was on my road bike, all hangover. And I'm like, okay, you need to do two and a half hours and just like get fit and last night you had fun you play hard you work hard and that was what i was thinking I'm like, okay <laughs> you want to play hard with the boys but now you need to work hard you need <laughs> let's get it done that's why all of a sudden like i say those victories after the hard training you know you was appreciating not not being on the podium like i said like yeah i'm the best i kill everyone no it was for you like i made it and if they knew how much i party but how much i worked as well they would be surprised. And I think people figure out that, they, they figure out this, and they're like, Cedric, how uh, come, how come you can party to five o'clock in the morning, and next day wake up and be able to win a World Cup? Mm -hmm. I'm like, because it, that's what I do all winter. I train hard and I party hard, and when I come to the races, for me, it was just one more time. Sure. <laughs> And it, it was awesome, but like uh, like you say, you know, like uh, when you work hard and you know how hard it is, and when you get definitely get it, it's it's pretty awesome. You proud of yourself? On the same time, what's written behind you yeah. on the board? What well, do you think? I have this in my house. <laughs> Life is what happens to you when you are busy making other plans. <laughs> that yeah. makes sense.